Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Ali Geist with the Storm Valley Event Center. Good morning. Good morning. Always excited to have you on here because I love hearing about the events going on at the Event Center. And I know, like, first of all, you know, next this weekend is the Arab Shrine Circus. We had them yeah. on yesterday. Absolute delight. Sounds like it's going to be a great show right there. <laughs> it will be. It's always a great show. Ticket sales have been up quite a bit this year, so we're really excited. Hey, and the community right. is, too. Definitely. Everybody be sure to also to get there a little bit early. There's so many events going on before the show. You'll definitely want to enjoy it there. And so what else is coming up here? We got the Capital City Carnage on what mm -hmm. March 3rd to the 4th. Yep. Demolition Derby. What can, if people haven't been to this show yet, what can people expect? Because it's a, it's a big show. Yeah. So we have two Demolition Derbies annually. Mm -hmm. um, we have Blizzard Bash that's normally in November. And then we have Capital City Carnage, which is in March. So this one is the start of the derby season. Okay. There's a whole series, and then Blizzard Bash is kind of like the, the finale mm -hmm. of the whole Demolition Derby season. Um, that one's four days, this one's two days, but there's three different shows, Friday night, Saturday morning, and then Saturday night. Um, and if you've never been to an indoor Demolition Derby, it is insane. It's mm -hmm. awesome, though. The uh, Yeah, it's just, it's so much fun. It's such a cool experience. Um, it's very loud, um, but it's it's fun. It's absolutely it is absolutely a fun experience. I've been to a few of the shows. Have you? Yes, I have. And you're what you I always I pick out a car that I like. Like I like that one. You just kind of root for them yeah. as they go through and cars get bashed. You're just hoping someone can make it. And I remember one of the times I watched it, there like so many people have their crew with them in the audience mm -hmm. and you can hear them trying to direct them what to do. It's <laughs> it's absolutely a fascinating show. Yeah, there's a lot more that goes into it than you think mm -hmm. and there's a lot of rules to keep the driver safe. And and such um, and to keep the audience safe obviously um, but people come from all over the country to compete in this um, we have I mean the majority 60% roughly about 60% of the attendance for this show is from outside of the wow. county so it brings so many mm -hmm. people to Shawnee County and you know of course they're staying in our hotels they're spending money at our restaurants um, it's really a great event for Topeka and Shawnee County and sometimes people don't even know that it's happening because most people people that are attending it. <laughs> I'm from here. Um, but there's people, I mean, a lot of people come down from like North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin. We have a lot of drivers that come from Canada. Um, and they come right here to Topeka. Yeah, it's a, like I said, it's absolutely blast. If you haven't been there, definitely check that one out. And also, March 13th, the Topeka Tropics have their first um, home game for everyone to go yes. and come witness the season two. Yes, yeah, absolute we're so blast. excited to have them <laughs> back this year. Uh, the whole team and just the whole theme of the team is hilarious and awesome. So fun. Um, I mean, the kind of idea behind it is like you go to a game and you're on vacation. Mm -hmm. So yes, obviously Topeka is not a super tropical place, <laughs> especially today. Um, but but you kind of feel like you're on vacation when you're at the games. Um, they're just, they're so fun. There's always things going on. Um, it's like a big party. Yeah, and I the home openers, yeah, the 13th yeah. of March. Uh, 13th of March, I think it's gonna be a blast. I, I've uh, talked to them a little bit. We had them on the show a few weeks back where we were mentioning like they're gonna have some selfie places to like to put yourself in that vacation, that vacation mood. Cause frankly, with this weather, we need one. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yep. And our new food and beverage team is already working on some fancy uh, signature cocktails. Ooh. Yep, might have some pina colada situations going on. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, new food and beverage. What's happening there? Yeah, so this is this is incredible. So we had a um, our new food and beverage uh, company, OVG Hospitality, took over January one the contract for the whole event center, um, and within their first eight days, they did the Kansas Governor's Ball, and they served two thousand nearly 2,000 plated meals in 24 minutes, which wow. is that incredibly is quick. Yes, it was really well done. Um, we, we brought in um, chefs and GMs and people from all over the country within the company to help kind of execute that event um, until we can get fully staffed up. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's awesome because they're taking over all the uh, concessions, they're revamping them, doing new concepts. So we're gonna have like, uh, Taqueria, like bar, a sausage place, barbecue, like they're redoing all of the concessions wow. at the event center. Mm -hmm. They're redoing new options for all of the catering at the event center. It's it's going to be like night and day. 
I, I, I'm excited to tr try this new food out. I, uh, yeah. I do my one I've request. I do hope it's the amazing. chicken strips are still around. <laughs> Those were my absolute favorite. I'll see favorite. what I can, uh, who I need to talk yeah. to about yeah, who that. Who do I need yeah. to talk to to keep the chicken strips going? Those were, <laughs> those were delicious, but I have, I have high hopes for this next, this next um, change. If you guys yeah. will, the event center, it's going to be great. And I know real quick, I know, um, also in March, we've got the Harlem Globe Trotters. Mm -hmm. So another great event right there. Yeah. Sounds like tickets are great. even like tickets are doing incredibly well for the Globe Trotters. Like like even doubling years past. Um, it's on a Sunday this year at three o'clock, so it's a Sunday afternoon. It's a <laughs> great time. If you've got kids like I do, they kind of nap right before that. <laughs> so you wake up and you take them to Globetrotters and you know, they're fascinated by all the tricks and it's just such a fun family show, like for two year olds to like 92 year olds. Um, it's a really good time. Absolutely fantastic. Well, yeah, March sounds like it's going to be a great time for the event center and for families to go check out some shows and enjoy Topeka. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Allie, thank you so much for joining us today. I can't wait to have you back on and talk about some more events coming up. All right. And of course, to check out tickets and full events, go to StormontVilleEventCenters.com.